Hi, I'm Jim Smith. This is the 1000. This is Canadian Election 2015 Part 2. Talking about some of the other things that the Conservative government has done that I find truly remarkable. The most single remarkable thing they actually did is not sign on to the United Nations Arms Trade Treaty uh, in spite of tremendous pressure from the chattering classes of Canada and around the world. And the fact that so many other governments that should know better have signed on to this uh, basically an effort by the United Nations to create in an international uh, arena the failed Canadian long gun registry. And if Canada, one of the most technologically advanced, one of the most wealthy and one of the most educated countries in the world, cannot make a long gun registry work, what makes you think Uganda can? Right? You just got to think about this for a minute. And Mr. Harper has taken that position, he's held it, he has been uh, vilified in the press, he's been vilified by all sorts of do-gooders, and of course the anti-gun crowd are just absolutely livid. If there's no other reason to vote for the man, that's enough, all by itself, without anything else. Um, people say, well, he should have done more. Well, yeah, of course he should have done more. Uh, perfection is hard to come by in this world, but you have to look at the fact that not, nobody in the last 53 years that I've been doing this has ever done what this government has done in the past four years. So your choice is very simple as a firearms owner and as a firearms activist and a firearms uh, operator who's going to go forward in the political sphere in this thing. Hopefully some of you will figure that that's what we're actually trying to do here. Uh, you have to reward our friends and punish our enemies. Now we're pretty good at punishing our enemies. Just ask Kim Campbell sometime when they were reduced to two, two members. Uh, that was just a route out in conservative country where I lived at the time in central Alberta. And uh, none of the histories ever re respond to that. You know, They don't say that, uh, that that was anywhere responsible. And we will look at the lack of history we have. One of the reasons we're doing this history project quite bluntly is because we're ignored by the political history of our time. And we'll be talking about that in the next few episodes uh, in, at somewhat great and perhaps monotonous length. So that's it for today. Thanks for coming by. Well, that's today's little talk. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you'll subscribe uh, to our channel, uh, share it with your friends. And if you can support us, if you can see your way clear to support our project, to support our history, uh, please feel free to do so. We, uh, we exist totally on your support.